Hey guys, how's it going? It's Komodi. I'm an Ableton teacher at Ableton Certified School, Harborside Institute of Technology, as well as an educator and content creator at Cymatics.fm. And I'm an artist with releases on record labels, such as Malable and Gravitas Recordings. I've got a really, really cool tutorial for you guys today, so let's just dive right into it. So for today's tutorial, I want to show you guys how you could tune your drums with the frequency shifter. Sometimes using the transpose knob can affect high-end fidelity. It's actually a pretty deep topic involving sample rate, playback speed, and transposing, and how all of those relate to each other, but because this is a quick video about the frequency shifter technique, we'll save the geek talk about sample rates for another day. The frequency shifter is a lot more subtle, and I'll explain why in a second, and has become an integral tool for my drum mixdowns. If you want to practice this technique, I've included five snares in the description of this video all marked with the root note. So without further ado, let's begin. So we have a beat here. And in this beat, the root note of our snare is an A. To find the root note of your snare, simply drag a spectrum on and double click the spectrum to bring it up here. Upon expanding and pressing play, you will see that most snare drums, especially in this glitch hop style, have a very prominent tone. If you hover your mouse over it, you can see down here in the corner that it says that this hertz value is an A. Now the problem we run into, however, is say we wanted to write a song in F, and we wanted to pitch this down to an F, down four semitones, the snare loses a lot of its character. The highs have been dulled, and a lot of the mid-range frequencies have been moved around as well. The reason for this is notes across many octaves move in a multiplicative manner. What does this mean? Well, an A in octave one is 55 hertz. An octave above is 110 hertz, an octave above that 220, and an octave above that 440. All the way up in octave 7, you're now up at 3520 hertz. When you go up to octave 8 and it doubles, it becomes 7040 hertz. Therefore, when tuning a drum up or down a few semitones, it may be only moving a few small hertz values in the lower octave ranges, but in the higher octave ranges is jumping hundreds and hundreds of hertz. The frequency shifter, however, doesn't work this way. The frequency shifter, as seen here, only moves things in hertz values. Say we pitch something up 10 hertz, that's going to move it up 10 hertz across the entire sound. So down in the lower frequencies, this could be a semitone, but up in the higher frequencies, 10 hertz will barely be an audible difference. This allows us to tune the lower frequency, the root note of the snare, quite obviously, while barely affecting the highs. Let's duplicate this snare track to show you the exact comparison. On the above snare track here, I'm pitching it down four semitones to pitch it to an F. Now with the track below with the regular A, I'm gonna drag on frequency shifter and I'm gonna drag on spectrum. Using the spectrum technique of hovering our mouse over the frequencies, I can see that we're currently sitting at 219 or an A2. To pitch it down to an F, I see that I have to go to around this range here which is subtracting approximately 45 hertz. So let's do that on frequency shifter. Let's head up to the hertz value here, and let's type in minus 45. Now we can see that the root note has been pitched down to an F. Now let's make the comparison. This is the snare above being pitched down using the transpose knob, quite dull. And this is our snare being pitched down with the frequency shifter. This has maintained the clarity of our snare and kept it sounding nice and clean. So in summary, I recommend you test out using the frequency shifter when tuning drums. 
This will allow you to maintain the higher frequencies because it doesn't work in a multiplicative way that transposing regularly does. If you like this and want to test out the technique, head on over to the description of the video where you can grab five snares marked by note so you can test out tuning them to your song. Thanks again guys, my name's Kermode, we're Warp Academy, and I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Bye.